Hello everybody, greetings from Chennai in South India. Today I am briefly going to talk about the dermatological manifestations in persons who are alcohol dependent. The American Medical Society in 1976 defined alcoholism as a chronic, progressive and potentially fatal disease characterized by tolerance, physical dependency or pathological organ changes, all of which are the direct or indirect consequence of alcohol ingested. The WHO proposed the term alcohol dependence syndrome rather than using derogatory terms like uh, boozer, drunkard, alcoholic, lush and so on. While much has been written about the effects of excess alcohol intake on the liver, CNS, the heart, GI tract, metabolism, etc. Very little has been spoken about the skin changes because they are considered to be trivial. We will consider a few of these skin changes, many of which of course are secondary to individual involvement of organs, particularly the liver. Generalized pruritus was complained of by some alcoholics. Even when the liver function and even the liver biopsy were all within normal limits. So the cause of this symptom is not clear. It may be due to raised histamine or other vasoactive substances. Chronic heavy drinkers do have a characteristic facies. There is ruby facians, that is redness of the middle of the face, which also looks shiny and oily. There could be conjunctival erythema or red eye what the books, novels will call the bloodshot eyes. And there could be thickening of the eyelid margins. The face looks puffy and swollen, giving it a pseudo Cushingoid appearance. The patient has prematurely aged appearance if they continue drinking. And if there is an associated alcoholic cirrhosis, they also develop a dirty gray complexion. Oral lesions that are often present in alcoholics are mostly due to vitamin deficiencies. In 1963, Brooke and Rotter described a lingual syndrome consisting of thick tongue with a brown fur, atrophy of the lingual mucosa with lacquered edges. The lips are often dry and parched. Chronic swelling of the parotid glands is noted in some patients. Though there are no skin lesions directly attributable to alcohol overuse, many patients complain that existing skin lesions like seborrheic dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea do worsen after binge drinking. There are some rare manifestations of alcoholism like porphyria cutanea tarda, which occurs in patients with a genetic deficiency of uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase. And these patients develop bullae, photosensitive blisters whenever they go into the sunlight. Yet another clinical condition which is noted by wisp and hair is oozing lesions in the groins and other flexural areas and also bullae on pressure points like the palms and soles. The whole clinical picture reminiscent of acrodermatitis enteropathica which you know is an autosomal recessive disorder affecting some infants due to zinc deficiency. Based on this clinical resemblance, these Patients losing lesions were treated with oral zinc with excellent clinical response. And it is known that chronic alcoholics do have low levels of blood zinc and they also excrete larger amounts of zinc in the urine. The third clinical condition seen in alcoholic recluses is pellagra. A characteristic triad of this we are told in our undergraduate days itself is the three Ds, dermatitis, diarrhea and dementia. If you don't treat it, the fourth D sets in, that is death. The dermatitis is characterized by rough skin. That's a literal meaning of pellagra. And this rough skin is seen only on sun-exposed areas. And the condition promptly responds to nicotinic acid and other vitamin supplements. There are some interesting skin lesions seen rarely in binge drinkers due to the action of alcohol on the central nervous system. We all seen in parties, after an initial phase of euphoria, loud talking goes on and then slowly drowsiness sets in. As our old pharmacology book very nicely put it, alcohol 
provokes the desire but takes away the performance. Smith et al. reported a 49-year-old male who had a long drinking session in the pub and then he couldn't go home, went outside the pub and slept in the open place outside the pub using an ant hill mound as his pillow. In the morning he was found semi-conscious and rushed to the nearest casualty where they found 5,000 vesicles on his skin, face, trunk and extremities. And these got infected, became pustules and with antibiotics the whole thing settled down in a fortnight's time. A somewhat similar case was encountered by us some years ago. A young teenager with his friends went to the beach to usher in the uh, New Year's Day and they took a bottle of illicit liquor with them. They had a nice uh, boozing session and uh, after 12 o'clock, after ringing in the New Year, the boys, most of them, dispersed went home. But this particular boy was afraid to go home smelling of alcohol. So he decided to sleep on the beach itself. Early hours of the morning, he got up and quietly sneaked into his house, thanking his lucky star that he was not found. But a few days later, he found itching all over the body and to his horror, he found things creeping under his skin. So he rushed to my dermatology colleague who diagnosed it as larva migrants and he counted more than 300 of larvae migrating under his skin. Fortunately, he promptly responded to oral ivermectin. Chronic alcoholic cirrhosis eventually sets in after years of heavy drinking. And at this stage, the skin reflects the liver damage in many, many ways. But the most striking of which is the vascular spiders. These spiders, of course, are not specific for cirrhosis, but they may be found in other conditions, particularly pregnancy and rheumatoid arthritis. The spiders consist of a central arteriole forming a little bump on the skin and radiating from this central bump have wiry vessels, fisted vessels going in different directions, closely resembling a red spider. And these are found in the distribution of the drainage area of the superior vena cover. The other vascular change seen in cirrhosis is the palmar erythema. Once again, this is found in pregnant women. A poem was composed by Samuel Bean, who has written a book on vascular spiders, to remind us of these two important clinical signs of cirrhosis. An older Miss Muffet decided to rough it. She lived on whiskey and gin. Red palms and spiders developed outside her, for of such are the wages of sin. So as clinicians, it is our bounden duty to discourage patients from overindulgence of alcohol intake. Thank you.